So you're over here, man, live in the Lunettes headquarters, man. You already know. Stolen from Africa, Hip Hop Canada, man. I Blast, I Dot Blickety Blast, aka Blicky, whatever you want to call me. You know what I'm saying? Montreal's finest. I was, 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 I was born for this, I guess it is my birthright. I finna make some power moves and it's the first strike. Yeah, I'ma follow up with some combos and don't you dare classify me with them John Doe's. You release a few mixtapes, man. So let's talk about like that, the history from the past to the present. For sure, for sure. I started off in the mixtape scene, you know. Um, I actually dropped my first joint in 07. Not too many people were paying attention, though. I was um, titled The Blast Off, you know. Good name for a first joint, seeing how it blasts. And we did um, the Human Gun. That was what? That was 09 or 2010? I think it was. It was 09. And the 09, you know what I mean? And the 09, we did uh, the Human Gun. And then just last year, we did the Time Travel, you know what I'm saying? So three mixtapes, got a little trilogy. You can pick all of those up online. You can download it on uh, Escape MTL. You can download it on 504 Smoke. A couple of them you can download on Hip Hop Canada as well, you know what I'm saying? So get those. If you didn't get those, get those. They're fucking classic to me. Yeah, Born For This, that's my first single off my upcoming um, EP, and uh, it's sort of like a mixtape street album. Born For This is the first single featuring my man Kimo Soul, shout out Kimo Soul, True Hunger Music, and uh, basically, yeah, it was something that Theory hit me up with the beat, and it was just stupid, it was dumb. I, I came up with the whole concept of the song, the whole everything within like 10 minutes, you know what I mean? Ran it by a Dutch, he said it was a smash, you know what I'm saying? So fuck, we invested in it, came out of pocket, did the video, and then, you know what I'm saying, sent it to much vibe. Yo, the orders make capitalism, but we chase after capital, this when we get trapped in the prison. They say I blast a threat, and he hasn't been bitten, and they'd rather see him wet, cause ain't no chance of him snitching. And no, I'm not a mathematician, but I did the math, and in the past, notice the massive division, they cut the blacks from the roots, kings of royal blood. I'm basically, like, really, I'm, the community I was raised in, NDG, you know what I mean, DG as we call it, it's pretty much the most... You know, English neighborhood in all of Montreal. It's on the west side of Montreal, you know. It's a, it's a large West Indian community, basically, you know. A lot, of, a lot of Jamaicans, a lot of Guyanese, Canadians, Trinidadian people, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? You got the north side of DG, the south side of DG. I rep the whole hood, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's a little rough community, but it's got its nice parts too, like anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting on for my community, putting on for the city. Well, basically, I mean, it's tough being being English if you're trying to really go to the 9 to 5 route because if you're not fluent in French you're not really getting a job out here but I mean for everyday life like you could you could grow up in my neighborhood and not speak a word of French and it, does, it doesn't matter you know you come to my neighborhood everything's English you go into a restaurant you go into a fucking McDonald's you go into wherever you're going you go into a dentist's office everybody speaks English you know but it's just basically the French thing is like when you're really trying to work when you're trying to get into the workforce industry and all that you're gonna need, you're gonna need French out here because it's dominant, you know what I'm saying? No album out already, got a heavy buzz. He wasn't always big time, but he never was a petty thug. Always been a great thinker, a big dreamer. Stay with two broads, Mary J and Christina. It used to be three, nowadays I miss Nina. She Oh, no, man. So like, let's talk about the Montreal industry. If there is an industry out here, I mean, slowly we're not, we're not, we're not where T dot is yet, but slowly we're getting the industry. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of big cats out here, like you know what I mean, the big homie Magnum. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of big people coming up, like Boy Blue, Mugs. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of talent in the city, and basically in the last year or two, niggas really started like investing in their music. You know what I mean? Taking it to something where before it was just like mixtape scene. It was just little local radio tracks, you know? And then people really started coming out of pocket, getting serious with it, making a real proper HD videos, you know what I'm saying? Quality songs. Niggas now getting their songs mastered. You know what I mean? So basically, we don't, we actually have a official Montreal Music Awards now too. We just, the first one was last year, you know what I'm saying? So with, with elements like that, with Escape MTL, the blog sites that are popping, 514 Smoke, it's actually giving us a better outlet to really get our music out there, you know what I mean? Make us seem more official as opposed to like, you know, in the closet, rappers and all that, you know? Yeah, man. So now uh, Montreal, I recently took like a loss with the, the, you know, with Bad News Brown, man, R.A.P., man. So well, what's up, the climate going on right now in Montreal? With, with Shit, the loss I mean, Baton. basically really like, that was, that was a big setback for the city because really and truly it's like from time he died, I didn't hear, like right before Bad News died, 
everybody was releasing track after track, video after video, non-stop, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was like on it, non-stop, non-stop, smashing the radio, this and that. And then when Bad News died, it was like, you didn't see nobody promoting nothing on Facebook, nobody dropping nothing to the radio, no videos were coming out, and if videos were coming out, they were old videos that they just leaked. Nobody was doing nothing because like the city was in a state of shock. City's still mourning. The city's mourning right now. We're like, we're like what, a month, a month and a half since it's past month. Yeah. It's past month, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, like bad news, anybody, like differently bad news is my friend, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But even if bad news wasn't my friend, he's the type of dude that anybody who's from Montreal that does hip hop, it's like you had to look up to him. He's the forefather of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's the one that put on for, for the city from 06, 05, like, you know what I mean? Touring in the States, touring in Europe, Brazil, everywhere, going outside the city and making people know about Montreal, you know what I'm saying? And he was the most humble dude you could ever meet. Anybody, I'm sure you met Bad News several times, super humble dude, you know what I'm saying? It's positivity, all he does is, you know what I mean, try to influence the youth. If he could put you on to a show, put you on anything, he'll put you on, you know what I mean? He wasn't selfish, and it's like, when he passed, everybody, nobody knew what to do, you know what I'm saying? When he passed, it fucked the whole city up, slowed everything down, you know what I'm saying? And that's about it, you know? We're still coping with that. Right, all right, right. Bad News Brown, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Shout out to Anon, shout out to all yeah. the whole Reps Up family, shout out to Preem, Gilla, Coke Keys, everybody in the dot, Reps Up. Right. Pop, pop.